people realize that this is something Border Patrol was, had already been working on. It's not some brilliant idea we came up with. The floating barrier in the Rio Grande was the first in a series of legal battles over the border. The federal government now suing Texas over these buoys, but as the I-team found out, the buoys were actually the federal government's idea in the first place. Jordan Elder got an inside look at the testing process for the buoys and how close the U.S. came to using them. Spikes, blade saws, anti-jump barriers. The I-team obtained these photos documenting the testing process for a floating barrier in the Rio Grande. But these aren't records from the Texas buoy rollout. They're from the federal governments. The administration changed and all that got shut down before actual contracts were written and before it was actually deployed operationally. Former Border Patrol Chief Rodney Scott says in early 2020, they started exploring buoys as a way to quell illegal entries off the coast of San Diego and in the Rio Grande. You see here, his agents even tested out these options. So we used them to try to get over it, under it. We had them jump actually off the side of a pool onto the buoys uh, to see if anybody got injured or anything. You may notice that these buoys look familiar. Breaking news. It's the same model Texas installed in the river this summer. What these buoys will allow us to do is to prevent people from even getting to the border. The rollout was divisive. This is Magali Urbina, whose property overlooks the barrier. These buoys aren't going to stop them because you can just go around them and the sea wire, they'll just come through it. Sheriff Brad Coe in Kinney County says he had a lot of questions when the idea was presented years ago, but he sees the safety benefits now. If they're going to try to make that illegal entry, let's guide them to a place where it's easier in control. We can get to them in case something happens. State leaders say that's their goal, too, to funnel illegal entry to areas of legal entry. We want to deter people from coming between the ports of entry. It's dangerous. It rewards the cartels. So why didn't Border Patrol end up rolling out the buoys? The presidential administration's changed, and Scott says so did the border strategy. But these trials still served as a jumping off point. Texas benefited from the research and the development that we'd already done. Were you looking at this as more of a short-term solution or a long-term solution? You know what? We really didn't know, to be quite honest. Most of the analysis in these documents has been redacted, but Scott says Border Patrol believed the buoys were a good way to keep people out of the river, allowing law enforcement to respond in other areas. He's not surprised to see the pushback here in Texas, including a federal lawsuit, but he believes the floating barrier method is here to stay. I think you're going to see the buoys used in, in an effective manner, whether it be the federal government in a new administration or the state of Texas for quite some time to come. We know from these images from when the buoys were announced that Texas did tests of the buoys too. You see that play out in these pictures right here. We've requested all of the documents and the photos that go along with these trials and we'll bring you that information as soon as we receive it. For the News 4i team, I'm Jordan Elder.